So normally around here, we don't make quest guides, but today we're making one. And that's simply because the fourth horseman is actually time gated in some way. Now, whether or not it's intentional or not, I have no idea. Now, granted, you want to go ahead and do these quest steps because it brings you all the way to the final step. So first up, to get started on this quest, you're going to load up to the tower and give Zavala a visit. Zavala would then give you the exotic quest for Fourth Horseman, and then you got to find his office. Now, we actually ran into a few issues here. If you drop down pretty much right under Banshee and run down these stairs and head to this doorway, you're pretty much on the correct path to finding your way into Zavala's office to begin the next step of the quest. The problem is, is it's a little buggy, at least for us at launch, and sometimes this door wasn't open. If you come down down here and you notice that the door is not open feel free to reload back into orbit go back to the tower and do this until that door finally opens back up now navigating through this thing some trial and error guys just kind of just sift through all the little corridors you have some open spots here and there you can hop up into i'm almost 99 sure i was lost toward the end there and then i just somehow fumbled my way into the right location now upon reaching this area there'll be a door that says invalid code vault access denied that that was pretty interesting I'm almost certain that the fourth horseman is actually in there and after we complete every step of the quest We'll be returning to this exact location or maybe it's something separate. I don't know But if you go to the opposite side, this is where you can actually inspect the empty weapon crate Thus giving us the next step to the quest now this next step actually involves us returning back to Zavala and upon giving Zavala this, this will launch us into the next quest step, which requires us to go to Anna Bray. Upon visiting Anna, though, she'll ask you to collect intel by defeating Cabal or completing public events on Mars. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. You can do lost sectors that are Cabal related. There's one like directly on the southern portion of Mars there. I'm pretty sure you only get three to five percent percentage wise per completion of this lost sector. So it's kind of grindy if you go that route. I just started doing EP. So EP actually counts as like a public event, which gave us 10% per wave. Now, the wave that you really want to take notice of is when there's an overlap in both EP and public events. Completing both of those together, I think can net you close to 20%, maybe even a little more. So you continue doing EP for about 30, 45 minutes. I know, kind of a grind. I was playing solo. This is obviously much faster if you've got some teammates with you. And I would say for today, at least, there was a lot of blueberries running around the glacial drift area. So how Having enough people there to help out in those EP waves wasn't the problem. Now, I will say, go ahead and start getting your loadout right because we're essentially going to go from EP to some Lost Sectors to Seraph Towers in the EDZ. That's kind of like the order of operations here. So whatever build you like to rock to take out multiple ads, I normally rock like Empowering with those Charges of Light, with my Heart of Inmost Light. Probably my favorite build when it comes to taking on a large portion of ads and just dealing good damage as it does good damage even to single targets. Now, upon completing all these EP waves, the next quest step, would involve you going back to Anna Bray and now she's going to ask you to gather data. Essentially defeating Scions and looting Cabal Chess will increase this percentage. Now, Cabal Chess are actually these red chests. Now, I really don't even know how much you get percentage-wise each one of these chests that you actually loot. If you want to go that route, feel free to apply a ghost with the Treasure Hunter Intrinsic Perk as this will allow you to detect those chests for you to loot. For me, though, I actually went back to the Glacial Drift and loaded into that Lost Sector about three times. There's a lot of Scions in there. Pretty much every wave got me enough percentage-wise to be completed in about three runs i think i went in a fourth time to clean up like maybe one or two scions and then after that i was done and i'm pretty sure it's like two percent completion per scion kill now after you've done this this brings us to the next step which might be just as long if not longer than the ep portion if you are a solo player as the quest will now ask you to go see benedict at the tower which is like all the way back what is that the annex area he's back there even past like the drifter now benedict wants us to go to the edz defeat combat and complete public events and also complete patrols. Now, the fastest way to do all of this is really just to have a fire team, jump from public event to public event, complete them heroically, and simultaneously cycle out patrols. As you can kind of like overlap those things in the same area, you can even split your fire team off where some of your fire team members go and do patrols while the rest of you are completing public events. I don't have any friends, so as a sad solo player that I am, the best place for me was actually just Seraph Towers, which worked in my favor. You get a about 25% completion 
duration per Seraph run, maybe even a little bit more. And you can even like overlap some patrols in the area with Seraph Tower. Although I will say that most of the patrols want me to get fallen kills, which was kind of annoying considering that Seraph Towers spawn nothing but cabals. Now, like I said, it worked out in my favor because there was actually a lot of worthy armor mods that I had not grinded for, which I don't know if these are being released like in batches or what, because I'm pretty sure I would have got these last week or maybe I just had bad RNG. But I got a number of these different Warmind related mods, which by the way are extremely beneficial. We're going to have to make a video breaking all these down. But you do all these different Seraph Tower events, complete three to four of them, depending on how much you get per run, which would then take us to the next quest step. It now wants us to return turn back to Benedict and this is when Bungie kind of cucks us. Benedict wants us to complete the Lost Sector, the legendary Lost Sector quarry. Now if you go right now to the bunker there in the EDZ, clear it out, the Lost Sector today, and I guess this refreshes every 24 hours, is that right? Or is it every week? It may be every week guys, so we may actually have to sit there and wait an entire week before we can finally get 4th Horseman. But as of now, Skydock is the legendary Lost Sector that is present currently, meaning we cannot access the Quarry Lost Sector or the Quarry Legendary Lost Sector, which is a definite bummer. Now I think Bungie might have done this intentionally, there's a lot of people that might still be under leveled it is a legendary lost sector so it's a little more difficult there's also a number of people that have not invested into their bunkers as of now so this may actually give the opportunity for those folks to completely upgrade their bunkers which by the way greatly help you in both serif tower events clearing out the bunkers in the future as well as these legendary lost sectors so i would highly recommend it plus it gives you access to the bunker mods which we have seen to be quite nasty with certain builds so that's it guys that's pretty much the quest guide today this is phase one to fourth horsemen we're being held up right now but as soon as we get something i'll be letting you guys know fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right